Hey guys, so I hope that everybody's doing okay. So I was thinking about peace, right? I was one of those people that would pray, oh Lord, give me peace. I want peace to come back to me. I want peace to return to me. I would love to be in peace, 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 you know? And I realize peace is something that you have to pursue and seek because the Bible does say that. But also the Bible says that Jesus came and gave us his peace. Peace I bring on to you. And so you can choose to be in that peace, even in the midst of the oppression, even in the midst of whatever is going on in your life. It doesn't matter if you're going through it. You know, we're all going through it. We all have that person in our life that's the oppressor, that's oppressing us so badly and so deeply. But we can choose to be in that peace and we can choose to grasp onto that joy that surpasses all understanding. And I had to learn that for so long. I just... I was just like, God, I need peace. I need you to bring peace into my life. That I want peace to come into my life this year. But I realized I already I can choose to have that peace. I already have that peace and that joy inside of me because I have the Spirit of God whom has given that to me, whom has bestowed that already in me and upon me. And all I have to do is walk in it, walk in peace. Yes, that this person might be nagging at me. This person might be totally turning my day upside down but you know what I always can retreat and I always can go into that place and that space where I'm, I know that I can find that peace and I'm just like Lord you're with me there's nothing that you have given me that I cannot take and that I cannot handle and that I'm cannot go through there's a reason why I'm going through this there's a reason why you chose me to go through this and to deal with this person and to be here and to be with this and be this way so I know you've already given me that strength you told me to be strong and courageous you told me to that you're always going to be with me you told me I'm going to have that peace that surpasses all understanding Jesus already gave me that peace I have joy in me <laughs> you told me to even be joyful through the pain and the mist you know <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to hold on to that I'm going to choose that and I'm going to get through it and I'm going to grasp it and I'm not going to let Satan take it away from me because that's exactly what Satan would be all too happy for you to do, to feel defeated, to be defeated, to, to lose your peace, to lose your joy. But you know what? You still have the inside of you that you can go in, into and you can you can be with the Lord no matter what is going on. And you can you can even if you're being oppressed so bad inside of you, you could just be screaming out for joy, screaming out for Jesus, praising, praising the Lord worshiping the Lord that's exactly what I had to learn to do because if you allow that dread to come in you and you wallow in it and you continue to be in it that's exactly what you're going to have you know so don't don't allow that to happen to you I've had too many years of my life I don't know about you guys I've had too many years too much time of my life taken over by that dread taken over by that worry taken over by that fear you know and I I just, I said, you know what? I'm not going to live in that no more. No more. The God that I serve, the father that I love, the father that's in me has given me that. And as long as I continue to choose him, I am going to walk in him. I'm going to have that peace. I'm going to have that joy. And I'm going to, and I know that whatever problem I'm going through is going to get taken care of no matter what it is. And I thrive and I live off of that, y'all. It's the only way that I've learned to live because you guys, you guys know how life is. Life is very oppressing. Life is hard. Life is, life is always throwing you a curveball. You know, <laughs> life is so unexpected. It's, it's, it doesn't go your way more than it goes your way. Put it that way. <laughs> And so in order to get through that, you've got to go the way of Jesus. You've got to continue to go the way of Jesus. And I've learned that. And I'm speaking to me here, y'all, too. And that's not like I walk it perfectly, but I have learned. I have learned to hold on to that. Hold on to it with all my heart. I have. And I'm telling you guys to do the same. <laughs> I love y'all. Hope y'all have a good day. Bye.